In this problem, we're going to be working with rational and radical exponents, and we're going to work them by hand and also learn how to use our calculator. The first one is the square root of 49. And when we have a square root, what's understood but not written is that there's a 2 right here. And so we can also write square root of 49 as 49 to the 1 half. But either way, what we're asking ourselves is what times itself is 49? Well, 7 times 7 is 49, so 7 is the square root of 49. So on our calculator, we're looking for the second and then above the x squared, so 49, enter, and that gives us 7. Notice we can also raise 49 to the 1 half power, and I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses around the exponent even though on this calculator I don't really need to, but on some calculators uh, you do. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that that also equals 7. For part b, the cube root of 8, what times itself 3 times gives me 8? Well, cube root of 8 is the same also as 8 to the 1 third. That's the rational notation. This is the radical notation. And what times itself three times gives me eight. That is the number two, because two cubed equals eight. Two cubed equals eight. And over here, seven squared equals 49. So let's see on our calculator. If I want to do a cube root, I'm going to need to use the math menu. And cube root is number four. So if I go down to number 4 and hit enter and then put 8, then what I should do is go to the end. See how the radical line shortened and my cursor is now here? That's really what I should do before I press enter. That's the cube root of 8. Also, I can raise 8 to the 1 -third power. So let's do that and make sure we get the same result, which should be 2. Now, for part C, I have the square root of negative 49. Well, what times itself gives me a negative 49? There is no real number that I can multiply times itself that will give me negative 49. But let's convince ourselves by looking at what the calculator says. So that second and then above the x squared is the square root negative 49. And then again, I really should hit this right arrow key to close off my radical sign and then hit enter. And it tells me I have a non-real answer. And if I select the go to option which is number two it might tell me something interesting it tells me that the error is the square root part of the negative 49 that's our issue for part d now we have the cube root of negative eight well what times itself three times is negative eight well if i take negative two and raise that to the third power, I get negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, and that's 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8. So negative 2 quantity cubed equals negative 8, so the cube root of negative 8 equals negative 2. Let's see how we would do that on our calculator. Again, for cube roots, we go to math, and then number four, enter, and then negative eight, and then get out of that radical by hitting the arrow, then hit enter. So indeed, we get negative two. 